Kelly. That's that was great. fun. It was a lot of fun. I love Farm Show. That looks like fun. I've never gotten that close to actually milk the cow, cow but yeah. I've seen it. I've seen that celebrity, the milk. Yeah, uh -huh. that's great. Yeah, and if we're going to the farm show, there is a little bit of rain out there tonight, mm -hmm. but it's going to be uh, clearing out quickly. So really not a long term rain deal here. It's going to be raining tonight, but if you're going to the farm show tomorrow, it's going to be windy. That wind is going to continue all night, but it won't be as rainy tomorrow. So here's a live look in Hummelstown. The roads are wet. The rain has just begun to come down 43 degrees. That temperature is going to rise a few more degrees before midnight. I think many of us actually making it right around 50 by midnight. So here's a look at the showers coming through right now. It's just a steady light rain, but areas to our north, there could be some snow mixing. In fact, here in State College, uh, radar is picking up on some snow. Also, if you look very closely, a couple lightning bolts. So there is potentially some thunder snow right now in State College. But again, for all of us down here, just rain, maybe a few snowflakes mixing in over the mountains, but just some rain and it's going to stay rain here throughout the night. Here's that low pressure to our west. So this has to work its way to our north and as it does, we're going to be getting a good amount of moisture here uh, throughout the night. So it's going to be a wet night as we see here in Hanover and man, it's coming down now in Hanover. Also looking pretty windy there as well. And like I mentioned earlier, temperatures might make it up a few more degrees to near 50 as we make it into midnight before dropping for tomorrow with another breezy day ahead of us. So here's a look at precision cast. Showing a steady, if not heavy rain here for the next couple hours. It's going to be picking up here as we come on the air at 11 o'clock, but then it clears out and tomorrow is going to be a dry day. There will be some cloud cover, but the uh, the rain will be gone and that wind is going to shift to the west. And speaking of wind, let's take a look at it. Here it is right now for tonight coming out of the south. This is showing up to 40 miles an hour sustained wind. It's going to be breezy tonight and it's not going to get any better tomorrow, but it is going to change direction. So when that front comes through, we're going to have a more of a westerly, if not northwesterly breeze. And that's going to be kind of the story here coming up. So when we get air from the northwest, it usually means cooler weather. And indeed, next week and for the rest of January, we are looking at a colder pattern setting up. However, cold doesn't always mean snow. And here's another example of that because we have this storm we've been watching here uh, for next Tuesday. But as of now, it's looking like it's going to be snow, but not much of it, if anything at all. It won't be rain, but it's just not timing perfectly for us to get a good snow out of it. So we'll keep an eye on that. Jackson and Dan will be here this weekend, really tracking it here for Tuesday. But beyond that, it's going to be cold valley 28 for Wednesday and many days in the teens. This is what the snow resorts need to make some snow some of these colder nights. So even if we're not seeing natural snow, it'll be nice to make some snow there on the resorts. Yeah, I know they're really waiting for it. And yeah. a lot of skiers are too. I am. And boarders. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yep. Well, the.